Today is May 1st, 2012. And a lot of you probably wondering why am I standing up in this video. All my other videos I sat down and I made videos. Well, just to keep it real with you, my chair is broke. Alright? I had a thick chick in the chair with me and we was having sex. And it broke. Alright? A fine, thick, sexy, chocolate system. Had a nice fat ass on her. I'm talking about she was fine. Okay, that pussy was pink like bubblegum in the inside. But anyway, brothers, I'm going to talk about some things, you know, that a lot of black leaders don't talk about. And that's solutions to our fucking problems. Okay? Now, you know, I've heard lots and lots of black leaders, so-called black leaders, you know, rant and talk about this and talk about that. In order for us to get out of the enslavement, we still enslaved, okay? We would never, we, we ain't been free in over 400 years. Truly free anyway. And even before, and even then, it was a short time time span. Alright? Now, in order for us to be free, we can't keep doing the same old shit thinking that it's going to work. Because it ain't. Going to march, you know, protesting and all that, fuck that shit. Alright? Trying to take this person or that group to court and all, nah. It, 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 we shouldn't even have to go through all that bullshit. You gotta fucking beg for justice in this country when you've been wrong. Uh-uh. Enough of that bullshit. I mean, look at, look how, give you a perfect, perfect example. Look at the situation with the Trayvon Martin. You had to go through all that just to get, get the motherfucker arrested. Huh? I mean, really and truly, I, I, I'm going to just keep it real with you. I, I live down here in the South, Louisiana. If that motherfucker Zimmerman would have, you know, I don't really like talking about this kind of shit, but I'm going to just put it out there, okay? It's off topic a little bit, but I got I got to speak on it. If he would have fucked with anybody in my family, if he would have shot somebody in my family, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have went, it wouldn't have been all over TV. Okay? I would have went to war with the motherfuckers. Uh, any other nigga I know that is from down south, that know how shit go down south, the fuck you run to the cops for? The cops, they ain't your friends. You can't expect to get justice from 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 some cops, huh? Nah, nah, fuck that. You handle the shit on your own, and that's why that's why that's why we fucked up. All right, that's why we fucked up. You gotta go through all that shit just to get a uh, 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 somebody arrested. Nah. Mm -mm. Six months later, that motherfucker would have been dead. All right. Point blank, his ass would have been dead. I would have got that motherfucker, point blank. Six months later, they wouldn't even suspect it. What, you had beef with somebody in, in, in the past six months? No, I ain't had beef with nobody in the past six months. Hmm? You brothers need to wake up. You need to fucking wake up. You can't expect to get no real goddamn justice when we were wrong, okay? No. Mm-mm. Nah, nobody, no, no, no fucking case. All right? The, the Mississippi River down here, a lot of the swamps have bodies in them, all right? Fucking graveyards, all right? Fucking graveyards, motherfuckers knocking, knocking, knocking motherfuckers off, digging a hole, going to Lowe's, going to Home Depot, Dumping that body in the hole, dumping some concrete in that motherfucker, 
Wait for it to dry and harden up. Get it out with a, with a fucking engine hoist. Put it on the back of the truck, regardless of what kind of truck it is. Put it on the back of the truck and dump that shit in the river or either in the swamp somewhere. No body, no fucking case. All right? And that's what I, what I have on Zimmer's ass. I, I got time to be bothered with that bullshit. Got to beg for some fucking justice. Fuck that. And a lot of them swamps, see, I'm going to tell you, you, you black folks, okay? They don't call it the dirty south for nothing, all right? They don't call it the dirty south for nothing. Shit, I mean, at, at one time, the black babies was used as gator bait, all right? When the white motherfuckers used to go in the swamps and, and wanted to get uh, hunt gators for skin and meat, it was like, ah, oh, fuck that. We ain't using no, no, no chicken. That's good meat. Oh, that's our food. We gonna use this black baby right here. That's what we gonna use. Plus, we like the thrill of hearing the baby cry and all that shit. We twisted motherfuckers, okay? That's that reptilian gene that's 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 in a lot of them. Sweet, uh, sick, twisted, diminished, diminished motherfuckers. That's why you can't make no peace with a madman, all right? You can only lay that motherfucker to rest. Point blank. You know, that's, I'm talking too much about it. I'm gonna just say, don't run in the cops for everything. Handle that shit on your own, all right? Now, a lot of problems that we have, I've never seen a lot of the black leaders suggest some of the solutions I'm about to suggest, okay? Going through due process, that shit is old with us, okay? It's old with us. It, it doesn't fucking work. It don't. Unless there's some, unless the, 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 you're getting true justice where there's some black folks involved, all right? For us, by us. And it ain't, this country ain't for us right now. It ain't. It's ran by white folks, all right? It's ran by white folks, but the reptilians, they own the white folks, okay? If you can look past the white folks, that's on the stage. It's the fucking reptilians, all right? That I've talked about in other videos that's running shit. And a lot of black folks don't get it. They don't get it, all right? They look at what's, what's right there in front of them. Not what's behind the curtain, okay? You gotta look behind the curtain. You gotta dig much deeper, okay? Once you get to that level, you know that you can't do the same old shit that's been, that, that, that even our ancestors have been doing, okay? When they were still captive uh, under the white man, okay? Still in, in chains. We got to stand up and we got to motherfucking fight. And I ain't talking about with no pen and paper. Fuck that. We know that shit don't work. No, it don't work. I'm talking about taking up arms, okay? And going after the real motherfucking problem. Alright? After the real problem. Which is the goddamn reptilians. Them cursed face motherfuckers, alright? I mean, about as twisted as you can get. These motherfuckers are evil, alright? That's the devil that's in the Bible. I already talked about this shit. All right, they have names for them in different in different countries. All right, almost every tribe know about them, but we here in America we don't. We too distracted by shit. All right, worrying about some fucking bling and all that other bullshit, or giving 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 the money to the damn pastor in the church. Hmm? Don't bullshit. 
dumb motherfucking bullshit. And that's why a lot of black folks is still dying and gonna keep dying. Okay? Because we gotta focus on the real motherfucking problem. The problem ain't advertised on TV like the white man. These motherfuckers have been fucking over us for the longest before white men even existed. That's the real problem. That's why we can't get ahead. That's why when we come from our, out of captivity, we go right back in that motherfucker about a hundred years later. It ain't really a good 50 fucking years before we get captive again. All right? Enough of that shit. Enough is enough. Real solution is to go after them motherfuckers. I ain't talking about going after demanding some papers from the government. On you ain't gonna get shit. All right? Nah, fuck that. I'm talking about a motherfucking war, a real fucking war. Well, motherfuckers gonna be dying and shit. Okay? Well, you put your life on the line. That's what it's going to take. That's what it's going to fucking take, all right? But we first must require some kind of technology. A piece of technology. Whether it's, if it's theirs or not, they don't create shit anyway. A fucking reptile don't create a goddamn thing. They leech, like I said. These motherfuckers eat and leech. That's all they do. I even say they're worse than a white man, okay? With, with, with stealing and leeching and trying to take credibility for something that they ain't never even invented. Maybe re engineered, they ain't fucking invented. We need to acquire a piece of technology to make the show them motherfuckers that we ain't playing. We need to. How do we do so? You, you, you capture a UFO. How do you do that? A lot of uh, UFOs, there, there's so many fucking UFOs, okay? That's in crash here. There's more fucking UFOs that's in crash here than a lot of medias, okay? Lots and lots of them. I'm talking about from the big, long before the Anunnaki even came here, all right? A lot of them so fucking big, they had to be buried. All right? There's plenty of UFOs. Now, finding one that that's, has some worthwhile in it, that's a different story. Totally different. We have to get out this goddamn hole. And using all means necessary to do so to acquire that technology a, 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 a weapon that will back them motherfuckers up, put them motherfuckers on the defense instead of us being on the goddamn defense all the time. We can be on the offense. Okay? Never mind the white man. Look past the white man and focus on them bastards, okay? Because as, as, when the white man is gone, they still gonna be there. They are still going to fucking be there. They create some more white men. Create a new breed. They already done that shit already. Okay? That's why there's a decline in the population of Europeans right now. All right? They dying off. So the reptilians went back to the drawing board and they got some more. They got some shit up their sleeves. You got to know them fast. These are fucking snakes, all right? Sneaky as fuck. They don't even, like I said, they don't even show their face. They don't even come out in public, all right? Unless it's with uh, 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 some kind of technology or a hologram where they shape shift and shit, okay? It sounds crazy, but it's fucking true, all right? They live a long time. I already talked about that. It's another solution. Once you acquire this damn technology, 
a weapon is to acquire some more fucking technology. Acquire all that you can by any means necessary. Any fucking means necessary, okay? So whereas we have some fucking status in the world. Alright? We won't be known as, you know, some fucking animals. Or, 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 all we worried about is, the, you know, material items and all that bullshit. We be able to trade some things, alright? Like we once done. We be able to gain some fucking respect amongst the world. The rest of the, the, the rest of the world anyway. And we'll be able to help those out in Africa because they can't even help themselves. The, the power is really within us, okay? Here in America. Okay, the, the Africans look at us. We are the future version of them right now. They years behind us. Years. Okay, so they look at what, what the Americans going to do. A lot of them anyway. Whatever we do, they follow our fucking lead. I'm talking about trend and all, culture and all, uh, hip-hop, music, clothing, all that shit. We do it first, they show sure enough going to be right behind us doing the same damn thing. So we acquire some fucking technology, they going to want to do so as well. And more than likely, they will, there's technology in Africa right now that they don't even know about. Okay? Africa is, the, the, is, 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 is a very special place. The Anunnaki didn't go to fucking Africa for nothing. Huh? Africa is the only fucking continent that, that is seated on the floor on, on, the, on the floor of the ocean. The rest of the fucking continents drift. Okay? The rest of them drift. Africa has been in the same fucking spot Long before the Anunnaki even came here, it ain't move, it ain't budge. It's still there. It's mounted to the floor. All right. That's one reason why it's special. That's why one reason why Alalu, the first one that came here, said, "This is where I'm going right here. I'm going to Africa. Okay. I'm going to Africa. I'm going to stay in this region because." It's more secure. There's lots of resources. And the rest of the Anunnaki uh, uh, follow as well. That's why civilization as we know it started in Africa. Okay? Because of the region, the area. You ain't got to worry about it sinking. Like, like Japan is sinking right now, as we speak. It's going to stay afloat. It's going to stay above the goddamn water. It ain't going to drift. When you building something, you coming from another solar system and you building something, you want to make sure the damn foundation is solid. All your hard work and effort is going to be in vain. Not to mention all there was a lot of resources there, the gold and all that shit, okay? You acquire that technology, you use it to, to the benefit of your people, which is us, okay? We don't really know about that shit, okay? We don't take care of one another like we should. We fucking don't. We thinking about ourselves and shit, all right? Meaning that we thinking about us in, individually. We ain't think about the rest of our people. And that's why we fucked up. That's why the Chinese, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the Vietnamese come here and open up restaurants and shit and all of that. Can barely speak English. And, and doing better than a lot of us who, who graduated college. Huh? They got businesses and shit. So, you know, whatever we've been doing, it's clearly evident it ain't fucking been working. All right? We need to get out of the comfort zone and go and acquire some fucking technology that's going to help us. All right? That's going to help all of us prosper. Okay? And get the motherfuckers off our backs. All right? 
It ain't just the reptilians that's on our back. It's anybody that 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 we make rich is on our back. Alright? We don't make shit, but we spend a lot of money on shit. We sure the fuck do. Spend it on a lot of shit that's made by other people. Hmm? Once you get that technology, depending on what what it does, the whole fucking earth needs to be quarantined. The whole entire earth. And you know, I I have to agree with a lot of the new world order, all that shit, okay? We do need a new fucking world order. We do. And a lot of people do need to be exterminated. All right, but it ain't like the the way the white man wanted the way the way he presented to you when the topic is brought up. Okay, cause a lot of the extermination should be a lot of them. It ain't I ain't talking about exterminating no fucking Indians. Okay, whether they the kind that wear the fucking feather or the dot on the forehead, no. You got a certain amount of melanin in your skin, you guaranteed to be right here. You guaranteed to be right here. The motherfuckers in Australia, they need to go. You don't want to give it up, the fucking continent need to be uh, sunk, okay? If you have the technology, if I had the fucking technology, no motherfuckers don't want to get up off of it, I'll sink it. Okay, you don't want to get off of it, I'll sink it. Because the land belonged to the Aborigines in the first goddamn place. They did the same damn thing to the Aborigines that they did to the Native Americans and blacks that was here already. You get your bitch ass from up over there. You don't, you going in the water. Okay? Point blank. Get them motherfuckers out. And build another one. Erect another one. Something. But they need to go. A lot of the fucking Europeans that's causing a lot of the problems in the world, they need to go. The British, y'all motherfuckers need to go. You need to go. Whether it's by nukes or whatever, you need to go. The fake ass Israel, Israel, uh, Israelis, they need to go. You fucking right. Israel needs to go. You motherfuckers need to go. They, they definitely need to be go. Okay? But it's easier said than done. Much, much easier said than done. Okay? Because you have a lot of... And I don't, I'm not the only one that feel the way. There's, there's other national, nationalities that feel the same way about us black folks. That we don't even see a threat. And that's the thing about it. Okay? We need to fucking unite and understand that we have enemies, okay? That we ain't never done shit to. That just fucking hate us because of the color of our skin and think that we some fucking animals. Okay? Even, even though we existed long before these motherfuckers. And they got the nerve to even think that, that, that they can just rule over us. They have a place here on the earth. These, that's, that's some motherfuckers that need to be exterminated. Okay? I'm talking about slaughter. Fucking slaughter, the goddamn baby slaughter, every last one of them. No prisoners, nothing. Alright? Because they, a lot of them feel the same way about it. I ain't just talking about white folks. Okay? It's any motherfucking group that feel toward, that feel that way toward the black folks. Including other black folks, okay? Including them, because there'll be a lot of motherfucking black folks turning on black folks to keep power, to save the white man's ass, okay? Because they mu that much in love with them. They ain't much in love with that system, okay? What, what they call it, Stockholm Syndrome. That's what the fuck they call it. All right? They need to go too. Like I said, the planet needs to be quarantined. A full fucking quarantine. 
a technology that would not allow nobody to fucking leave and nobody to come to this motherfucker. I, I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't give a fuck who it is. If it's the Anunnaki coming back, they'll understand. And they'll probably, they'll probably get a pass anyway. They come here and they identify themselves as the Anunnaki and provide some goddamn proof. Come on in. Come on in. Don't bring no guests. If you bring yourself. Come on in. Nobody else come. Okay? If it ain't that. Nobody leaves, nobody comes in this bitch, all right? Until we clean it up. I don't give a fuck if it's other extraterrestrials that have been here for a long time. Bitch, you've been here and you watched us suffer? As a people? Nah, you, you, we don't want, don't, don't try to take us now. Don't try to be friends. If your ass lived here in peace with the white man, your ass was against us. You going to. You are fucking going to and you're, we gonna take the technology. Okay? That's what we need is a fucking quarantine once you acquire the technology to do so, if it's possible. Which more than likely it is, alright? We can put up some kind of defense, some kind of barrier or something. Nobody goes in, nobody comes out. Okay? And we go sweeping. We do a full sweep of the whole fucking planet. Right, so we, we, dom we dominate the fucking planet anyway. People uh, 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 that have some metal in their skin dominate the fucking planet. Alright? And the most ones that's living in poverty and under oppression. So when when the sweep the fucking planet and 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 exterminate the motherfuckers that benefited off of the the, the hard sweat labor and the pain now for us by our ancestors as well. We need to do that. We need to get rid of every last motherfucker that's, that's, that, that hasn't benefited us, that's been against us for the longest. It has to be that way. We fucking ruled the planet at one time. We ruled it. And we should rule it again. But under a new world order, not the current one that, that's set up by the fucking reptilians and the white man. Okay? They want to, they, they know they done fucked up everything. So what they want to do is start something new. Okay? They want to start something new that creates more oppression and where everybody has less freedom. And only a few sit at the damn top. Okay, meaning that a lot of the white folks, and you white folks, listen up. A lot of the white folks that's in power, that, that's government, Republicans and Democrats, all that shit gonna be wiped away. If the white man's new world order, it's gonna, it's gonna be one motherfucker that's gonna be ruling the shit. Okay? You, they're gonna cut the middle man, and that's the government. Okay? The Republicans and Democrats, all that shit. People know that shit don't work no more. They know it don't. They know the Constitution ain't nothing but a fucking piece of paper. You want your goddamn uh, rights? You better pick up a gun. You better pick up a fucking gun and show motherfuckers you ain't playing something. Some kind of weapon. This weapon right here is my Constitution, huh? You hold up a gun in that motherfucker and say, this is my Constitution right here. This going to guarantee me my rights. It's going to guarantee me you ain't going to fuck over me and my family. Hmm? Cuz a lot of a lot of a lot of people in power, they don't they know about the, the, they don't have no constitutional rights. They just pretty much make up shit as, as they go along. 
and say, okay, yeah, you, you have constitutional rights, but this means this, this means that, and you have the state constitution and your local laws and federal law. Fuck all of that. Fuck that shit. Huh. Been following all that bullshit for the longest. Fuck all that. It shouldn't even be that complicated. Simple as this bitch, you fuck over with me, I'm gonna fuck over with you right back, alright? That's the law of the fucking universe. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. You fucked over black folks, it's time for you to get yours. Point blank. It's time for you to get yours. Fag stains is no robber. That's the same thing for the reptilian. I will only say them motherfuckers, a lot of them be captured alive. Okay? Because once we gain the goddamn planet back, that, that needs to be, we need to send a message. We need to send a message to the rest of them motherfuckers that's out in space. That won't be able to get in because we have that motherfucking barrier. Okay? This is what, this is what, 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 what you won't see. You fucked over black folks, this is the, the punishment that's going to be served to your kind. And I'm talking about a beating that's fucking legendary in the history of man. Alright? I'm talking about a severe beating of public, okay? Televised. Of the punishment being served out for these goddamn reptilians. I'm talking about whipping they motherfucking back so hard to where they say, Lord, her mercy. And no motherfuckers don't believe in a God. Okay? Once the punishment ends, I'm talking about some more punishment. Some more fucking punishment. And they death end up on a goddamn cross just like Christ. Put them motherfuckers on their cross and watch them slowly die. Feel what a lot of you black folks don't understand with the crucifixion, okay? That was the worst kind of fucking punishment. And I'm gonna tell you why. When you sitting up on a on a on a on a on the cross or a tree, when you nailed, they were not nailed with, with the, in the in the hands and feet. That's, that's wrist, okay? Wrist and ankles. Because the hands and feet they ain't gonna support that kind of weight. They're real straight apart. Alright? And when you nail in the uh in the in the in the wrist and the ankle, you have to hold yourself up, okay? To breathe. Because if you slump down, you can't breathe. You cut off your air supply. Alright? I don't want them motherfuckers to suffer that kind of punishment. Alright? Only a few. The rest of them? serve out the punishment like black slaves, like our ancestors did. Get about four or five horses, string them motherfuckers up. I want one strong by the head, by the arms, by the legs, and by the tail, all right? Each horse pulling in a different direction and you rip them motherfuckers apart, all right? Just like that. That's another punishment, all right? So more, I can I can think of many many different punishments, okay? For these motherfuckers to serve out, and we able to get to that point. But like I said, do unto others as you gonna have them do unto you. You can't fuck over a nationality of people and don't expect for it to come back. Bitch, it's gonna come back to you sooner or later. It is. But us black folks, we have we have to work on a lot of things. This shit would take a, a several hundred years, okay? And to make sure shit to go right like it's supposed to, so what we won't have to keep starting over. Once one generation die out, get the shit right the first time. Life expansion, okay? Increase our life span, like the Anunnaki. Live for some, some live a couple hundred years, some live several thousand years, some live forever. It just depends. 
But us, we'll have to live for a couple hundred years. Every black person to make sure that we stay on track. That, you know, one, we reveal some next generation, just fuck it up, okay? They prosper from it, and then, you know, they get a little lazy and be like, oh, well, fuck it. And next thing you know, we right back to the way we was. Now, we will have to stay on track, make sure this shit go right. Because we only got one shot to get it fucking right. Only one. Okay? We have lots of enemies stacked up against us. Okay? Lots and lots. It ain't just the reptilians, but it's other extraterrestrials also that's working with them bastards. Alright? That's, that's to betray their own kind. Alright? Just to be, on, be under the reptilians and rule over us. Alright? These weak motherfuckers, that's what they are. They weak. Because if I had that kind of power, why in the fuck would I want to rule over a, 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 a race that's still trying to come up? I would want to go for the big shit. Motherfuckers that's well established that I can really benefit from. Okay? And once we quarantine that planet, the, the planet, and serve out the punishment to the reptilians, we will have to build up enough resources and enough armies to go and attack them motherfuckers in their native land. Alright? Make sure they don't bring their asses back over here. Send a message. Anyway, win or lose, we, we would need to go. We would need to go. Not all of us, but motherfuckers like me. Alright? So, once that happens, then there will be some peace. Should be some anyway. If it ain't no peace, it's because of black folks beefing with other black folks. That's some shit that, 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 that's going to always take place. It just depends on how, how bad the beef is. No government. We don't need no fucking government. Okay? And I ain't talking about anarchy, but we don't need a fucking government. Because all the damn government does is set up a haven for sociopaths and other extraterrestrials to come in and pose like they one of us and hijack the whole fucking system. Hmm? Come from out of nowhere. Maybe they're playing a baby in a woman somewhere and say, the mama say, look, this is my child. Well, where the daddy at? Huh? Where the daddy at? Oh, he died. Fuck that. Daddy was extraterrestrial. This baby come out and 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 and, and uh, fuck everybody out of their whole inheritance. They come the leader and every damn thing and be a fucking tyrant. Fuck no. Kill that goddamn baby. Okay? You don't know where it came from? Kill it. I can understand me having an RH negative blood. I can understand why a lot of pharaohs did what the fuck that they did. Alright? I can understand that shit. You don't know where that goddamn baby came from? Bitch, it's gone. Alright? It is gone. You know, bitches be lying in the first goddamn place. You know, nah. Fuck that. Bitch lying say, it's, it's, it's my husband's baby. Hmm? It's my boyfriend's baby. When she and went had an affair with, 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 with a fucking extraterrestrial. Huh? He just wanted to get that baby in her. Plant that seed. So he can take over the civilization. Uh-uh. We learned that shit from Inky. Alright? Fuck that. That shit ain't happening no more. Uh-uh. Like I said, no government. We don't need no fucking government. We need one military, that's it. And a few set of rules. Somewhere close to the Constitution. Okay? We'll create our own constitution. That's all you need. What you need this group, that group, or whatever for? We didn't live without a fucking government before. Don't need no government. Nah. 
and we would need to repair our own DNA. Okay? High blood pressure, diabetes, all that shit. Alright? All the flaws. See, just like software needs to be updated, right? Our DNA needs to be updated as well and repaired. You see what I'm saying? Increase our lifespan. And wipe all the diseases out. Disease would be a thing of the past. Fuck that. Wipe all that shit out. Mean that when you want to go in some pussy, you can go in there with natural going dick. You ain't got to worry about putting on no damn condom. You feeling all the juices. All right? That's the way it's supposed to be. Repair our DNA and live long, healthy fucking lives. Okay, obesity would be a thing of the past. Alright? Something you can look back on and laugh at and shit. Say, thank goodness these days are over with. Or oh, those days are over with. Okay? So, you know, the kingdom, heaven on earth is possible. But it comes out of at a, at a high price. And that price is increasing by the day. The longer we sit on our asses expecting to get justice from our oppressors. Now, it ain't gonna happen to black folks rise up and do what the fuck it takes to get us out of this hellhole. Get the motherfuckers off the planet that don't need to be here. Okay? There's a lot of motherfuckers in Australia, a lot of motherfuckers in Europe, okay? The Russians, they gotta go too. They gotta go. They gotta go. The Chinese? A lot of them, they need to go. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Any fucking nation that has been, ha, that has had a hand in enslaving black folks need to go. You need to fucking go. Fuck trying to take prisoners. If you take prisoners, let it only be a few. Only a few, but this planet should be most predominantly black, and I'm talking about 97 percent black, all right? Because that's how it was at one time. If the Chinese want to remain here and stay, they serve out some. They, they do some hard fucking labor. Okay? Not all of them. Because you got different shades of Chinese. You got different shades of them. And just depends on where they headed. A lot, a lot of Chinese, they ain't really aggressive toward. A lot of them been fucked over by black folks just as well. They, a lot of them built the railroads here. They had their own little chain gang too. Okay? A lot of them that moved to the UAE promised uh, work, to get paid for work and, and, and all that shit, got lured over there and got enslaved. Got their motherfucking uh, passport took. They we ain't take your bitch ass nothing. You Chinese. We got your ass here. You won't work or you gonna get beat and you won't eat. That shit happened today. Okay? So a lot of the Chinese to be spared, okay? But it, it ain't on a white motherfucking imperialist that's the wrong, lie, kill, murder. There's no exception. No exception. They, they will have to go. 
You got to go. Even being free, I wouldn't want to see none of them motherfuckers. No. Nah. Mm-mm. Not even being a slave. You got to go. So, those are solutions that I never heard. So-called black leaders talking about real solutions, okay? Instead of trying to integrate and do this and try to fit in and education ain't saved our asses, okay? We still, we still enslaved, but we educated slaves, okay? Oh, go to school, go to college. When you graduate, you get that good job. Now, you have it, but the white folks on that job, make sure it was, you would still know that you're black and you ain't free. Your ass worked for 20, 30 years, and you still ain't as rich, uh, better off than the Asian that come here and open up businesses, and raise uh, generations on that business, raise families on that business. Hmm. Fuck all of that. That's, that's why we black folks, we need to get our shit together. We need to get it together and come out of that comfort zone and we're going to have to fucking fight. We're going to have to bring the fucking fight to the goddamn reptilians if we want to teach. Alright? Don't wait on no savior. Your ass is the savior. I'm going to tell you why. Because you're the one that's been fucked over. You the one that's been fucked over. I'm the one that's been fucked over. So why in the hell a savior or any other God that's going to come and help us when they ain't been fucked over like us? It's our fight. It's our battle. Assistance? Yes. But as far as putting in the, the dirt, dirty, grimy ass work to killing, to plotting, yes, it's going to have to be us. Well, you you gonna have to learn how to develop a warrior mentality to go kill some motherfuckers, okay? And but remain humble at the same time, not become a beast at the same time. All right. For every person that you kill, you need to basically just. Meditate. Meditate and get over it. And run through your head if it's, if it's the right thing that you've done. Even though you know it's the right thing, there wouldn't be no other fucking choice. Like I said, you can't make peace with a madman. You can't make peace with no goddamn beast. You lay it to rest. But if it's on your conscience, if it's fucking with you, then you need to meditate. You need to pray. Pray to who? Well, whoever makes you feel better, but pray. Because technically, you are a God, okay? You are. You, you are a fucking God. Little. A little God, okay? Technically speaking, if you are a child, so-called child of God, what does that make you? I'm talking about the true creator God. I ain't talking about the Anunnaki. I ain't talking about the Son. I'm talking about the one who put this universe together. If you are a, a, a child of God, what does that make you? A human? Yeah, it does. But the technical term is you are a God, a little God, okay? The big God has little gods, okay? 
It's just speaking. Okay? I ain't talking about no special powers and all that shit. None of that. Because I have RH negative blood, and I don't consider myself to be that much different from anybody else that don't have it. Okay? Because I'm in the same fucking boat. I'm I, in the same boat, been fucked over, and still getting fucked over to this very day. So what makes... Uh, I can't afford to think that I'm different or I'm better than anybody else, any other black person on this planet that don't have it, okay? Even though there's a fucking pattern right now for, for HIV, a cure for HIV AIDS using RH negative blood, okay? Now, a lot of black folks, you know, we have that problem. And that's what keeps us divided also. We like to point out the flaws and shit of other groups and, and, and black... Look, nigga, what makes you better than this group over here or over there or, or even me? We are still motherfucking slaves. Nigga, you get a throne and then you start develop that mentality. Other than that, your ass is a slave just like us. Okay? And that's why we, all black folks, we need to unite. We, regardless of our differences, we sell that shit once we, you know, count, count the, the, the wealth and shit. All right, when we, we on our, we, we at our weakest right now, when we at our best, then we can split up right now. We need to be together on this shit. I don't give a fuck what kind of group, as long as it's a fucking black group, and you somewhat conscious of what's going on, you need to fucking stick together. And stop all that bullshit. If you ain't sticking together, if you constantly ticking at this group over here, ticking at that group over there, maybe you need to figure, examine the motherfuckers in your group. Maybe they working for somebody. All right, maybe they're on a the payroll. You need to examine your, the motherfuckers in your group. All right, because within a lot of groups these days anyway, there's a motherfucking Jewish, all right? If you ain't testing no, the niggas in your group, you better to find out which one's the loyal. Because the, the, the nigga will turn on you. Okay? Betrayal is a motherfucker. It's a motherfucker. That's why a lot of, that's why we can't get nowhere either. Motherfucker snitching and selling out. See, that's some shit you don't go to a white man. If you find a motherfucker selling out, you kill him. You need to kill him. I'm frank. There's, there's no way around that you kill that bastard. Not just because he fucking betrayed, but to save your goddamn group. Alright? It's like a fucking cancer cell. You get rid of the fucking cancer cells, and you might be able to save the damn body. The leg. You might be able to save the limb. No way for the cancer to spread all through the goddamn body. Okay? And the thing about with betrayal, a lot of niggas, it, you know, before once you find out you betrayed, it's too late. That's why if there's a group, I don't give a fuck what kind of group it is, that's constantly finding problems with this group, or this group ain't for, for progressing as it should be. Stop pointing at the other group and look at the niggas in your group. Hmm? What's their agenda? Why are they fucking with your group? Huh? Because they might be on somebody's payroll. Watch the niggas you hang out with. Watch them. Talking about the motherfuckers in the FBI and the NSA also. Y'all think I ain't got, got people in the train and shit? Snitching? Espionage? 
But you looking at me like I'm some kind of real motherfucking threat. Bitch, you be betrayed by one of your own people before I even get to your ass. Alright? So stop looking at me. Stop looking at me and look at the motherfuckers that you work with. Including your goddamn boss. Alright? Because he on somebody's payroll also. Ain't no mind, but he on somebody's payroll. Betrayal's a motherfucker. That's why I don't fuck with too many people. That's why I don't. If I put in work, I put it in on my own. I know what gets said, what gets done. All right? That old said, uh, Ben Franklin, three men can keep a secret as long as two of them are dead. I ain't trying to fucking knock off no brothers that I know I can't trust. I'd rather not deal with them at all. Okay? Save me the time and the trouble and save their family the pain and the heartache from me knocking that motherfucker off because he ran his mouth. So that's why I, I, I really respect the Anunnaki, Anu and Alalu, okay? When they had beef with one another, they brought it to one another. They wasn't going to say who said this, who said that. Going to get this person killed, get that person killed. Fuck no. It was handled man to man, point to point. Real men. All right? None of that old punk ass bullshit. Meaning that if I got beef with your ass, I'm not sending nobody to come after you. Bitch, I'm coming after you. Me. Because it's personal. All right? And that's why a lot of us brothers, we got things all fucked up. We adopted this mafia mentality and shit. Stand up and be a fucking man. If you got deep with a nigga, you bring it to him. You don't send no up nobody else. You bring it to him. You a real fucking man and you know you want to challenge him? Bring it to him. Point blank. And that's all I have to say on this video. Solutions to cleaning the planet up and getting motherfuckers off our backs. Okay? Those are my solutions. Never heard any other leader speak about them. Might start speaking about them now. They watch this video, but I never heard it. They, they, they don't want to go to that level. And you have to get out of the comfort zone and go to that level in order to get something done. Okay? Think about it. What do we have to lose? We already so we, we already marked for death. It's just a matter of time before shit get out of hand. Before motherfuck black folks start getting knocked off. Okay? So we, we better do something. Instead of being sitting ducks looking around at the rest of the world that's got weapons to defend themselves. Whether if it's primitive or some new technology, they got some. We basically don't really have much. Well, we got, a, got guns, but I'm talking about some real shit, okay? Some real shit. Niggas can get their hands on some shit if they want to. Just a matter of getting them interested. So I mean, If you want to use these solutions to get the fuck out of this hellhole that we in, or transfer this hellhole into a heaven, I can't think of no other solution. We've been kissing ass. We've been trying to be like everybody else. That shit ain't been working. It has not. We've done everything else besides actually 
take up arms and start knocking motherfuckers off. And I ain't talking about just no anybody. Like I said, I already broke it down to you, but the ones that need it. The ones that have been profiting off of our fucking pain. All right? But first and foremost, the reptilians, them cunts face bastards need to go. They need to go. The first ones that need to go. The first ones. I want you black folks to remember that. They need to go. Evil bastards. Evil, evil, evil. Unspeakable evil. That I personally hate. That's the only motherfuckers I hate. Okay? So I'm going to end this video.